Hi, internet people. So this week on Kinda TV, Natasha did two very different things. The first of which was going to a poop-themed cafe. Um, so apparently a ton of people had been suggesting she go, including Elise. So she went, and it's literally like poop-themed food. So the matcha green tea milkshake looked delicious. I was not 100% sure how that was poop-themed. It looked good. Um, and then she had like a donut, or I think it was, yeah, a little like pastry thing that was shaped like the poop emoji. And then she ate this ice cream sundae that looked delicious but was served in a toilet, which was hilarious. Um, she also, like, the regular drinks, like water and stuff, are served in like these little, like, she called it a urinal, but it totally looked like the thing you put toilet bowl brushes in. Um, like the expensive kind, not the like cheap plastic ones that come with the toilet bowl brush, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it was just really cool. It looked like a cool place to go, even though it's an interesting theme for a restaurant, cafe thing. Then, on Friday, Natasha brought back DIYs and did DIY slime. Now, I don't have slime making experience, but I have oobleck making experience. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid, um, one of the Dr. Seuss stories that my folks read to me, I read to myself, um, was the, it's like Dr. Seuss Bartholomew and the oobleck. Um, the it rains oobleck in a town. I totally can't remember the name of the story, but there's oobleck involved in a Dr. Seuss story. It would have been a good idea for me to Google that before I started this, but whatever. Okay, so there's a like craft project for kids where you make oobleck. And what's cool about oobleck is it combines cornstarch, water, and food coloring. Super, super easy, and it changes consistencies depending on how you touch it. So I'm going to be like rolling in and out of frame a little because I film in a bedroom. There's no real good place to set up this table. I have done one food demo in this room before, and I had to like jury rig my camera setup. So I just have a table off to the side and I'm just gonna like lean over and grab stuff. So first, you need a cup of water. I know this looks kind of ridiculous, but this was the easiest to use bowl for mixing things and it has little cup measurements on the side. So a cup of water. It can be called warm, doesn't matter. Then you need two cups of cornstarch. You pour said cornstarch into the water. Oh, so much. Then we're adding some food coloring. You're going to have to trust me on this. I'm going to be dropping it over the thing. So, catch it right there. And then one, two, three, four, a number of drops. It's purple, by the way. It's going to be purple, not green. I had green food coloring, but I've never used the purple. So, I'm going to mix it up. Mixing it is very hard. I would show you what I'm doing, but it, you have to like get leverage on it because the cornstarch starts to stick very quickly. So I have it sort of, I'm going to lift it so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So you just like stir against the resistance. Stir, stir, stir. See it's like purple and wet and weird looking. But no, you like keep mashing and squishing and trying to mix it up. Which, again, is very difficult. There are probably easier ways to do this. If I hadn't added food coloring, I would have used my hands. But I don't want purple hands. Rah, rah. Rah. You're just listening to me crunch things. Is this, I feel like we're on, like, if I had this closer to camera, this would be like a weird ASMR video. Okay. They've actually done like this on like science shows and like put like sound waves and stuff on it which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna hope, I'm probably still gonna wind up with purple hands, but it's okay, I'll just wash them after the video. Okay. So, this is black. Like see? It's squishy and wet and gooey and does weird stuff. Kinda like slime. See? But what's cool is that while it's like liquidy like this, remove the spoon. I will stick my hands in this purple goo. Okay, so see, liquidy. I can dip my hand in it. I can lift my.
my hand up. I can go like that. See, I'm gonna get really close to camera in a sec to show you the really cool part about Ublack. Okay, super extreme close up on Catherine's face. Okay, so while Ublack does this cool liquidy thing, this is why I don't have good filming setups. This is very beginner video. Sorry about that, everyone. Then, if you poke on it super, super hard, like you jab it, it doesn't move. You like can't get into it. Like, I can't, you can't break it. Like, I can squeeze it and squish it. But as soon as like, it just sort of gives up, it's gooey and cool. So it's not really slime exactly. It does the cool slime effect. So there you go. You have your very own Ooblack. So yep, just one part water. So one cup water, two cups cornstarch. And if you want to add color, you just add food coloring. If not, you just leave it white. Um, I actually remember making this in a bag at Girl Scouts. So you throw the ingredients in like a gallon sized bag and you stir it up and then you just have it in a bag. Um, you can also make it in bigger batches and put it in like kiddie pools or um, in like little aluminum pans. No, I'm just playing with it. Um, and then you can like have people run across it. We used to do that at Girl Scout events. It was really fun. Okay, that is everything. Um, I may not be able to wave like I normally do, but let me know if you try this because I think it's really fun and it's super easy and really, really cheap to do. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of me doing random stuff like deciding to make Ublek in the middle of the night for a kind, uh, my kind of recaps, uh, subscribe to my channel and keep up with what I'm doing. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Clef Notes, on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express.com. I run their snap, and I run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP. Let's see if I can say bye without getting purple goo all over everything. Bye, internet people.